here are five common mistakes that most people make when using hard gel. Tracy is gonna show you exactly how to overcome them right now. Okay, we've done a video on what not to do or mistakes when applying acrylic, but we need to show some love to gel also. Now, some of these things I'm gonna show you are similar to the acrylic, but there are a few things that are very unique to gel. So let's get started. Okay, let's, first important thing, glasses. Second, or first mistake, is the prep. So a lot of people that I've encountered when teaching think that prep work for acrylic and gel are different. Uh, in fact, it used to be a huge thing that acrylic was very harmful to the natural now and gel wasn't, and it was because of a different couple of reasons. First of all, people tend to prep acrylic more than they do when it comes to gel. And then we used to use an acid primer when it came to acrylic, which we don't need more. We would now use protein bond or a non-acid primer. So I have seen people who buff the nail when prepping for a gel service. I wouldn't do this even for a gel polish. Either way, no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to start by pushing back that cuticle. Okay, I'll do this one too. Getting my medium arbor band or medium crosscut bit, whatever you prefer using. Since this is a new band, I'm gonna go ahead and prep it. Turn her finger sideways. We're gonna tuck right up into that groove, follow through, remove the shine. Tuck up in that groove, remove the shine. Gel needs something to grab a hold of, so we don't wanna just buff the surface. So prep for acrylic and gel are the same, but that is my number one first mistake people do is they don't prep it well enough. Okay, just like acrylic, we're gonna take our swipe. We're gonna go ahead and cleanse that nail off, both of them. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one because this is the one we're actually gonna form. And I wanna put my protein bond on. And I'm gonna tell you guys, please do not judge my hands. We've been teaching in Reno and as a model on what to do and what not to do. And I am completely off balance. My nails are all over the place. We got our protein bond on. We're gonna go ahead and get our base. This would be the second mistake I see people do when they're doing gel. Sometimes they do it with the full set. Some, a lot of times it's when they're going to do a fill. Base is a very, very important step. It's really what's going to anchor everything down. I think Greg one time told me it was like the foundation of a house. It's very thin, but it is the structure of your house. If you don't have a foundation, a correct foundation, then your house crumbles. Same thing here. We need to give that builder gel something to attach to. So we are gonna grab our base. Now this is a little different. When we come to base, we don't float it on like we would the builder. I'm gonna grab a nice thin amount and we're gonna just push it into that nail. Again, we want that foundation to be nice and even, but it doesn't have to be thick. It is what everything is going to anchor to. So base, extremely, extremely important. After you apply the base, we do wanna make sure that we cure it. Curing base is just about as long as it takes you to do the other hand, but we'll just put this on 30 seconds and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get our form on and we'll go into the next two mistakes we see when it comes to gel. So the next one that I see, we're gonna go ahead and take our concealer peach. And if you're anything like me, I was taught with acrylic first. 
So something that was really, really hard for me was not to bunny hop on the surface. I was always trying to apply a lot of pressure. I call it killing the nail. And gel is very much a floating technique. So let me show you. What I used to do is I would grab the product and we kind of do this hopping, kind of trying to push it like I would acrylic or a little bunny hopping like this. And first of all, it makes it very hard to get it anywhere. Plus, let's tuck it back there. So if I float it, it makes it much easier. But let's say once we get out here, I start bunny hopping like this. All I'm doing is shoving tiny air bubbles into the product. So if you're having air bubble problems, this could be one of your main reasons. It's the bunny hop. In fact, I can see quite a few. So again, no bunny hopping. It's not acrylic. We're just gonna float that product float that product, move it. It's just staying with the very, very much, just the top layer contact and moving it where you want. Now, one thing that will make it much, much easier for you if you're like me and heavy handed is by using our precision gel applicator. Because what this does is it forces you to float. You can't bunny hop with it. You have to stay in contact with the very top and move it and float it. So if you're having issues like me or like I used to, try this. Okay, so not pretty. Did a square nail on her. I don't know what I was thinking. But definitely want to float. If you so desire, you can go in and make it pretty with a brush. I don't care. If we have enough product. We're going to Go ahead and get her in the light and freeze her while I'm working on the other hand so it stops the motion, but we're not going to do a full minute cure yet. That should be plenty actually. I'm going to get it out of the light. It is important once you get it to stop moving, especially if you're doing white, we want to go ahead and remove the form. Ooh, that's pretty. That way the gel can cure this way and this way. This is something that really, really sets gel apart from acrylic. This is super different. Acrylic, we leave the forms on to the very, very end. Gel, we need to remove it before we do that final minute cure, especially if we're doing white, so everything cures thoroughly. If you're doing it and you don't, what can happen is when you're filing, it's almost, this is really gross, I call it the zit effect, people. Especially when it comes to white, it feels hard on the top, but inside it's gooey. Gross, but you get the point. So we gotta make sure it cures all the way. Now we can put her in the light and cure it out for that 60 seconds. Okay, our last tip mistake actually has to deal with tips. Not something you see us do a lot, but we do sell tips and we know a lot of nail techs use them. I did for the first six years of my career. The mistake people make with tips is they get it on, they prep the nail, or they've already prepped the nail, but let's say if they hadn't, they come through and they prep here, kind of blend that tip in. and then they finish swiping, doing the protein bond. Problem is gel does not like to stick to a slick, smooth surface. So we're gonna run into issues. If you've ever done gel over tips and you start getting chipping or lifting from the tip area, it's number one reason is your tip is way too smooth. You have to make sure whether you do it with your arbor band or with your hand file that we put a nice, textured surface to that tip so we have something to anchor to. So talking about that, I never personally would ever do a white tip with gel. Now, I tried it because in my head, I'm like, I wanna do a white tip and then do gel over it because I had a really hard time doing French nails in gel when I first started. But the problem is, 
it would be just like us not removing the form on this one. The light can't penetrate from the bottom. And now you have white, which is very, very dense, and the light has a hard time penetrating it. So we don't wanna do a white tip and then try to cure the gel. Or I'll see people use a white tip and then use the white tip as a guide for their white gel, which is kind of genius. I get what you're doing, but again, you're really gonna run into curing issues. So after we've done this, we'd go into the exact same prep work as we did with her form and we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this nail. If you notice, I put the protein bond all the way over the tip. That way I make sure that it's nice and sticky and everything's going to adhere to it really nicely. Go in for our second time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this nail out for you guys and we'll do a final shot.